कहीं कहीं इसको सारे विश्व से जो हमको मिलता है वो हमको देना है वापस देना है वी हैव टू गिव बैक देवा भाव यताने न ते देवा भाव वह परस्परम भाव यंतम श्रेय पर देवता देवता यानी सृष्टि को चलाने वाले प्रिंसिपल जो होते हैं उनके नाम है इंद्र वरुण मरुत्त आदि 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 थर्टी थ्री काइंड वो शक्तियां प्रकृति को चलाती है प्रकृति हमको अन्न देती है उससे हम पोषित होते हैं हमको अपने कर्मों से प्रकृति को वापस देना है हम प्रकृति से लेंगे वो हमारे पोषण करेंगी हम प्रकृति का पोषण करेंगे तो पर्यावरण की समस्या कहा है देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम अगर दिया हुआ हम वापस करते हैं लेते समय कृतज्ञता भाव से लेते हैं मान कर लेते हैं जैसे माता के पास से लेते हैं वैसे लेते हैं खींच कर नहीं लेते और वापस करते हैं यह सत्य मिला है वेदों से और इसलिए विश्व की आधुनिक सारी समस्याओं का निदान करने का सामर्थ्य वैदिक ज्ञान में है उस वैदिक ज्ञान को समझना आवश्यक है आज भारत में स्थिति यह है कि बहुत तो लोगों को इसका विस्मरण हो अब भारत में प्रयास चल रहे हैं उसका फिर से जागरण करना जैसे जैसे वो प्रयास बढ़ रहे हैं भारत भी तैयार हो लेकिन भारत इसका मालक नहीं है भारत इसका ट्रस्टी है दिस नॉलेज इज फॉर होल यूनिवर्स इंक्लूडिंग ह्यूमैन सबको देना है सबको देने के लिए हमको चलना है मतों के अहंकार के कारण जो कला चलता है वो बंद होना चाहिए एक दूसरे को अलग दिखने से अलग मानना डिफरेंट है तो सेपरेट मानना ये बंद होना चाहिए स्वार्थ का आचरण नहीं होना चाहिए बड़ा बन के सबको बड़ा करना सुखी बन के सबको सुखी बनना बनाना इसके लिए सेवा परोपकार चलना चाहिए और समन्वय संतुलन से सारे सृष्टि का कारोबार चलना चाहिए ये संदेश धर्म का संदेश है भारत को इस धर्म के संतोष को ही दुनिया में देना है और इसलिए हमारे पूर्वजों ने बताया ये तदेश प्रसूत से सकाश आदग्र जन्मना स्वम स्वम चरित्रम शिक्षेर पृथ्वीया सर्वमान अपने जीवन से विश्व के सारे मानवों को जीवन की शिक्षा दो हम बड़े इसलिए नहीं हमारे पास है वी हैव बीन इंटरेस्टेड विथ दैट नॉलेज नॉट फॉर अवर सेल्स और होल ऑफ दूनिवर्स और आज मैं बहुत एक आनंदमय दृश्य देख रहा हूं कि एक देशों के भारत को मिलाकर ग्यारह हजार लगभग प्रतिनिधि यहां पर उस कार्य को करने के लिए उपस्थित है महर्षि योगी जी के कृपा प्रसाद से इस कार्य को करना आधुनिक जगत को नई पीढ़ी को समझ में आए ऐसे वैज्ञानिक भाषा में उसका पुनः प्रतिपादन करना इसका उद्यम चल रहा है और महर्षि द्वारा नियुक्त दस राजाओं का राजमंडल उसकी देखरेख कर रहा है ये पूरे विश्व की मानवता के लिए आशा और विश्वास की बात है ये आशा और विश्वास लेकर हम सारे विश्व में यहां से जाए प्रेरणा लेकर जाए अनुभव लेकर जाए और अपना अनुभव सबको सिखाए तो मैं समझता हूं कि आने वाले 10, 20, 50 वर्षों में जिस मंगल में विश्व की सारे विश्व के चिंतक कामना करते हैं लेकिन जो अभी भी दूर लग रहा है वो मंगल में विश्व यहां पर प्रत्यक्ष में हम सब लोग आपको इतनी दीर्घायु मिले सबको कि हम सब लोग उसको इसी देह में इन्हीं आंखों से देख सकेंगे वैसा आप देखो ये शुभकाम मैं आपको देता हुआ और फिर एक बार आप सबका धन्यवाद करता हुआ मैं अपने चार शब्द
श्री मोहन भगवान भगवान विजयंते कराम We just heard a complete exposition of knowledge from the theoretical level and from the practical level the scientific level that proves what is theory and how theory works and gives the possibility to apply the theory for the benefit of human kind we will have this speech translated in all languages uh, we will make it into a booklet because it is total knowledge in a few minutes and everyone should enjoy and experience and delight in that exposition of highest knowledge and it is so dear to us that it is really what we have for many years learned from his holiness maharishi mahesh yogi explained in few minutes from so many delightful profound scientific philosophical and complete angles so we are thankful and delighted ray gunya vishaya yoga nistre gunyo bhava arjuna and that is what we have heard in summary from shri mohan bhagavat ji there is a dynamic of creation a dynamic of manifestation and all this manifestation appears in so many different forms now i am just summarizing a few points from the talk appears in so many different forms and people see them from so many different perspectives yet underneath them sustaining them nourishing them is the one field of pure being pure consciousness and if you are transcending those values this trigonyo bhava then you are going to the real place which is the absolute as beautifully expressed by shri mohan ji the relative changing world and the absolute non changing reality and when you go to the source that sustains everything then you get all the results and you see the unity that connects us all from every country where dharma which is action in accordance with natural law which is nourishment sustenance and support is applied and is experienced and is seen everywhere and shri mohan ji this is what we are doing here we are here 139 countries and they have come to transcend when we started the course we have highlighted the importance of our individuality of course our nations our beliefs whatever they are but have decided during this few days i must say it will we wanted few weeks but we ended up with few days but they are very precious we decided to transcend all of that transcend it on the feeling level transcend it on the thinking level transcend it most importantly on the being level and that is the technology that we have received from his holiness maharishi mahesh yogi nistre gunyo bhava and yoga sta guru karmani in in yoga you sit in that unity value and then all the other aspects the surface aspects are enriched and lived in their fullness all the values are enriched from that field of pure being and that is what they have been doing now have we been successful 
Everybody's silent. What is the news in the world? So we expected some positive news. And we don't see it when there is a lot of fog and a lot of discussions and talks that are very uh, argumentative, very angry sometimes, very disruptive sometimes. And this is what the year has closed on, 2023 has closed on amazing levels of anger and fear and fighting and promise to kill and promise to fight and promise the wars will go on forever and promise of that. So when I looked at that, is this, I said, should I have been, you know, into this whole course? Should we have done it? I mean, who can face this kind of tremendous situation? Of course, this was just a moment of weakness in my side. But of course, we wanted to do it. Now, what happened? One of our those people who are in the trenches, who are fighting, who think this is the only way to achieve their goals. And they are suffering. These young people, they want to have a life. They want to grow. They want to uh, develop a family, develop a situation that is good. And here they are fighting, you know. And oftentimes, we, when we are looking from a peaceful perspective, we think like these are the bad people. And so why is it that our heart suddenly, I felt, goes to them? And that is really, I understood in my heart later that if these people go back home, then we would have achieved something. So one small reference to what's happening, which is amazing. At the end of 2023, the promise was for almost unstoppable war everywhere. Nothing will happen, we're gonna fight forever. And you know, the biggest ship of the United States, which is a, a carrier of the biggest amount of uh, aircraft, you know, aircraft carrier was being stationed right in front of the Middle East from the United States, there is fear. And everybody was talking about all these horrible things. And when the course started a few days, we heard suddenly that the Israeli forces are being withdrawn. <laughs> that, that these young people are being taken back home. Although the speech is warmongering, the actual thing is they should go and rest. They should go and have good silence and quiet, meet their family, go back to their daily activities. Then a second day, I hear that the Gerald Ford biggest ship aircraft carrier situated in the facing the Middle East, they decided to take it home. So it moved, it moved back to the United States. This might seem small things because there are lots of skirmishes happening, but it's really very significant. Why would the United States, who's there to protect and to whatever logic uh, it has, suddenly decide there is no reason for that to be there. Let's go home. Then I look at the news and I see, well, we haven't seen anything in between Ukraine and Russia. It's no more in the news, practically. I mean, small things are keep happening, of course. And then suddenly I had to Google Russia, Ukraine, and then the first news that I got was that the largest exchange of prisoners that ever happened since October 7 is happening just these few days. 